Hey guys, in this episode, I will continue the paint job on my old 911. All right guys, if you remember the end of the last video, I was actually um, showing you a few bits that I was a bit disappointed with in the car. So I'll just take you around and show you them now. Um, so first things first, there was a couple of bits here that I wasn't very happy with. So I've uh, masked this all back up. There was a little bit of um, grit in some of this stuff here. So I wasn't very happy with that. The paint had um, fried up a little bit on these uh, seat rails on both sides and I'd scratched up the floor a little bit and there was also a little bit here on the parcel shelf that I wasn't happy with so first things first is to go back and tidy them all up and put some primer on them and get them looking nice and neat and painted So uh, you can have a look here and you can see that I've painted the inside of the doors. I've redone the inside of this uh, fruit now and it's looking pretty good. Except for the fact that I discovered after repainting it all. I don't know if I can get the shine there. You can see I've got some bloody runs. They're only minor and they're getting behind all the uh, airbox stuff. So I can't be bothered doing it again. So that's my bodgy laziness. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Nice and, nice and glossy and shiny. and looking pretty decent. Uh, redid these uh, seat rails so they're not uh, they're not uh, fried up like they were before. They're looking okay, they're not perfect. Um, went to redo this again and I stuffed it up again. So I'm gonna have to get back in and uh, strip that all back and redo that when I do the outside of the car. Inside is done, so uh, let's get on to blocking back the outside. A long week of sanding and sanding and more sanding and my hands are white and there's wet grey slush everywhere through the shop. I've done everything now in 400 grit and I'll take you through now and show you what the next step is. Alright so you can see here I've sanded back this door and you can see where I've done my little repairs along the bottom of it uh, and you can see some of these these sort of scratches here that I've left behind, I'm not sure whether this camera can actually focus on those, um, where you can still see they're, they're black from the guide coat and that's some 36 scratches that obviously I didn't get out completely um, in my previous stages so now the next step is to go through and put some spot putty on these, uh, these little places so that they're all uh, nice and level and perfect and uh, move on. Alright, so now I'm getting ready for attempt three to uh, fix up this fry up patch on the rear parcel shelf. The second attempt, I just went too hard again and just tried to put the colour straight over the top and put it on too wet and it fried up again. So this time I'm going to go over it with a, um, a primer first and then just lightly dust over the, the primer so then it'll be a solid base so it shouldn't fry up again. Fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm uh, ready to go now for a coat of, another touch-up coat of primer on some of these areas where I've rubbed through sort of here. You might be able to see, I don't know if you've seen this light, see the little pink spots where I've just gone through and put a little bit of uh, putty onto them to just tidy them up. You know, a couple of little tiny rub throughs in places. This door needed a bit. There are a few spots where it rubbed through and it wasn't that nice. Um, this store wasn't too bad, a couple of scratches and spots, so uh, another coat of primer and uh, we'll see how it goes. 
All right, then that's round two of primer and guide coat. So now the body, everything has been touched up, guide coated, primed again. So now rub it down with 800 for the final rub down and hopefully ready for some color. So for any of you who are wondering why I'd left the uh, the back and part of the doors open while I was getting this ready is I've gone through and I've finally finished off this piece properly. Third time lucky, no fry ups, nice and glossy. So now I can finish masking up the rest of the car and uh, cleaning up perfectly, getting the booth pristine clean and we'll put some colour on this car. Car's all clean, the floor's been all wet down, ready to go. Last thing is to run the uh, tack cloth over the whole car to just pick up any bits of dust or lint off of the uh, off of all the pieces I'm going to paint and uh, start hitting it with some colour. And that's it, we're all cleared. There's a little bit of orange peel there, but nothing drastic. Um, you can see here, it's all looking quite nice and shiny. A little bit of dust and stuff in there, but this is the first time I'm painting it. And here's a couple of the issues, I don't know if you can see that there. There's a bit of a run, because I'm crap. And following around, there's a bigger run on this side. But yeah, there's a run there. But overall, I am quite happy. That's uh, done. All right, guys, that's it for another episode. Uh, color is on the body and the doors, as you can see. Um, I wanted to get all of the body panels painted, but uh, the sanding just takes so much time. Sanding it all back with uh, 400 grit and then going over it again doing all the little touch-ups then going back over at 800 grit and Masking it all up painting it all up. So next episode I'll get on to showing you painting the rest of the bits and pieces um, The finish I'm quite happy with how it's come out. There's a little bit of uh, Bits and pieces in it and some there's a couple of runs as you get sore, but uh, that is not the last clear coat this car is getting. There's uh, more to come, so that will be chopped back. This is all going to get chopped back smooth because um, I'm doing the paint job properly. Um, and there is also, uh, might be some, uh, some graphics going on this, so uh, I'll let you guys uh, speculate as to what you think uh, I might be doing. But uh, anyway, that's it for this week. Um, if you're enjoying the videos, please like and subscribe to my channel, Home Built by Jeff, and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the same place. All right, see you guys. <laughs>